was fun. Um, you know, me and Hironis were able to, to pick up, you know, some key players on our side, and hopefully it'll pan out for Saturday. Looks like you went linebackers with your first pick. Yeah, uh, we figured we might as well anchor the defense and, and see where that takes us. What do you think, you're overall the, uh, the Mari uh, Asu team <laughs> as a whole? I'm excited. Uh, we got, a, we got a, a lot of good players, a lot of young guys as well, um, guys that have done well so far in spring. Um, but I feel like both teams are pretty balanced, and it should be a good game on Saturday. Who's your sleeper pick? Um, sleeper pick was definitely uh, the tight ends with Cole Kai and uh, Johnny. Um, we figured that you know with their ability to block and you know get open on receiver routes that they could be a key factor for our offense. The spring was a big day for you a few years ago. Is it, is it still something that you look forward to, or what do you get out of it and the rest of the team? Yeah, you know I I haven't changed my mentality. Um, you know, I just try to go out there and focus on getting better. Um, this spring game, uh, you know, we'll see how much I actually play. You know, it's up to their coaches. But, you know, it's like any other game. Just go out there and have fun and uh, enjoy the moment. You know, the spring games around here are pretty awesome deals. And, um, like I said, just kind of enjoy it and, and, and um, to see where that takes us. When, when spring finishes up, I mean, then it's the summer and then fall camp's opening up. It's, it's your last one coming in here. It's, where do you transition from when Saturday's over with? Um, just focus on, on the weight room. You know, that's the first thing. We come back Monday and, you know, it's, it's in the weight room again. And, um, you know, I think the mentality that we had in winter of just trying to, you know, gain weight and, and uh, work, is, uh, work on chemistry and, and different things like that with the receivers is, is where we kind of go from, from Saturday. And then just going into fall camp, you know, treat it just as, as how we have been and um, just see where, see where it ends up. We'll see where we end up. But a, a lot's been made, obviously, but you coming back this year. Now that spring's done, is it is it going fast for you? Is, does it feel like it's it's, it's moving by quickly? Uh, yeah, I feel like this these first or uh, you know, this month of spring ball that we've had is, has gone by really fast. Um, you know, with school and all that as well, it, it's it's been kind of a hectic the last you know three or four weeks. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's it's exciting. I mean, you get to go in and have a spring game again. Um, you know, Nike does a great job with, with their uniforms and stuff for us. And, um, you know, just the whole deal with the military and stuff, it's a cool deal. And, I, you know, as, even though it's going by fast, you know, we're really excited for Saturday. NC2A passed a new rule this year where the defenders can't take you out below the knees. Has that been something that's happened much to you, or do you see that as being much of an effect on the game? We'll see. Um, you know, I, I haven't you know I don't really put much thought into that you know you get hit it happens it's kind of part of the game um, but I think just for our safety purposes you know having that kind of gives us a little little more comfortable you know gives gives us confidence to kind of stand in the pocket mm -hmm. um, but at the same time you know I really haven't put much thought into it and you're the kind of guy that rule could be tough to enforce because it's if you're running it's different and so it may not have a lot of impact on you maybe either but. yeah exactly and I and I, I think it'll it'll be interesting to see how the how the refs are, are going to implement that Marcus, with some of your go-to receivers either gone or injured, can you talk a little bit about how things are going with the guys that are left, specifically Keenan? Yeah, I, Kalo is the man. I mean, he he really is. He's he's been a huge leader for those young guys outside, um, especially with you know the injury that that happened. Um, but at the same time, you know he's he's been consistent. He's probably one of the most consistent players I've ever been around, and he always puts his heart his hard hat on. and He's always ready for practice, and I think you know he's gotten better, so much better, you know, over these last you know even month, and I think. Um, you know, we're going to really look to him uh, as, a, as a key player for us. How are you adjusting to, to Brayden's loss and bringing in new receivers? Uh, just with, like, Keenan Lowe, I think uh, he's, he's done a great job outside of helping these young guys just kind of catch up and, and get ready for fall. Um, but at the same time, a lot of these young guys have really stepped up and have made plays for us. Um, you know, I think in the spring game, you'll see some of that. And, um, you know, it's exciting to see, um, especially these young guys have really put in a lot of hard work. and. Um, you know, what happens, happens, and we'll see where, what happens with these guys. Which young guys do you think have stood out? Um, Chance Allen, Devin Allen, um, you know, some of those other guys like, I mean, even Austin Deitch, you know, some of these, these walking guys have really put in a lot of work, and um, like I said, I'm just really excited to see these guys play. How's Evan Bayless doing among the, the tight ends? He's doing well. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's learned, he's picked up the offense pretty quickly. Um, you know, I think he's, he understands that he has a big, uh, big spot on this offense, and um, you know he's he's really put in, uh, especially in the weight room. I feel like he's gained a lot of weight as well, and I think he's you know he's really ready for full. Is there a guy in the draft in particular that you really wanted that you didn't get? <laughs> um, 
I really, we, we were really trying to go after uh, Matt Pearson. Um, you know, we wanted to really make a, a stable offensive line. Um, you know, no matter what, whatever the uh, quarterback is in, you know, whether it's me, Jeff, or Damian, we wanted to, to have a solid running game. Um, but at the same time, you know, I think our right tackle is going to do great. Um, you know, he's a freshman and he's she's shown some some uh, some greatness, and uh, hopefully, he's he's ready to play on Saturday. What do you think of Helfrich's second spring as head coach? Does he seem more comfortable, like more? Couple in his own skin as head coach this time around than he was a year ago. Um, I don't think much has changed, to be honest with you. I think he's uh, really done a good job of just continuing to, to push the envelope of our potential as, a, as an entire team. Um, he's really focused on discipline this uh, this spring, and uh, he really just wants us to continue to, to harp on the little things. Um, you know, a lot of those little things will either get you beat or win you games, and um, you know that's just kind of the standard around here. And he's and he's really just kind of kept that. Was this? Last year was just everything, so much of a rush for him, kind of getting acclimated to the job. Some of those things, the little things slipped by, and now he's more comfortable with him? No, uh, not, not, not at all. I think he's always kind of had that that uh, mentality as a head coach. Um, but I think he really just wanted to go out there and make it a focal point this year, especially because we have so many young guys that are still learning the system and uh, just learning how to practice and all those little things that, you know, he really wanted to make sure guys understand that, you know, whether it's, you know, having your foot behind the line or, you um, you know, learning how not to tackle in certain drills. I think he just, he really wanted to make sure guys understood that and, and were disciplined and uh, made sure that they, you know, were correcting all those little things. Can you talk about how the, the running backs are progressing? Yeah, um, you know, we have a, a lot, pretty young group. Uh, and, you know, I think Byron has, has done a great job of, of bringing along some of those younger guys, including, you know, Thomas. Um, you know, those guys are great athletes. You know, they, they kind of pick up stuff pretty quick and, um, you know, like I said, I'm excited for those guys. Has there been one between Thomas and, and Byron that's, that stood out anymore? They're both great players. Uh, they're both going to be key contributors for us. And um, it doesn't matter which one is in the backfield. They'll, they'll both, they'll both be great players. There's been some low attendance at other uh, spring games this year. How much does it mean to you guys as players to see your fans come out in full force for your spring game? Oh, that's huge for us. Um, you know, especially with this community, um, you know, they're always excited for our spring games. And I think that's pretty special. Uh, if you look around the Pac-12, um, you know, it's like you said, it's kind of, you know, some of those games are empty and, um, you know, we're just proud and, and, and even grateful for our, our fans because they're, they're able to come out and, and show their support.